there's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. Dorothy is missing in Lone Pine. Dorothy is missing, everybody. He's been talking about this Dorothy character, and he's never even kissed her. Murder mystery. It's a murder mystery in Lone Pine, California. We Dorothy. I told you about it. You sent me Dorothy. a text. Dorothy. She was found nude, burned, and shot in a ditch in Independence, California. I did some investigative reporting this weekend, guys. He went, yeah, he went to the local pub. Yes, yeah. and you know what I did? What did you do? One of the rarest things anyone can do. You I spoke made... to a bartender. No, I do that a lot. <laughs> I made a magician uncomfortable. <laughs> Which is actually Because I was like, nice. where's the body? They deserve it because that's what they do. All they do is make things disappear. So you assume if there's a missing woman, that's that guy. Do you have any Especially if, he, if he's out of doves. The power. Oh, when the magician no. who did active <laughs> card tricks just to me at the bar, uh -huh. when he looked at me and as if I did something wrong, okay, it was yes. awesome. So you're at a bar in which there's a magician. Jake Saloon. There's a, magi a roaming magician. Yeah. Is he hired by the bar? No. Or no? And no. he's doing he's a, it. He's a citizen. He's there. doing it for tips. He's a, no. He's at no one. No money. Tavundi was it Tavundi, Nevada? <laughs> no, this is in Lone Pine. Lone Pine. Yeah, it's a country western theme place. Okay. Uh, oh, a, is Il he a country western theme magician? Kinda. He I'm likes lonely. his card tricks. Mm -hmm. He was lonely. Um, I just want to say hello to the chat. I got yes. some people here. We got Doc Rafferty. It's four a.m. where he is. He's stoned and he's sick. Oh, we'll feel better. Hope I hope this the isn't helps. terminal. Well, well, if it's honestly, not terminal, um, stay stoned if you're super sick. Why the heck not? Kelly asked me, what did I just do to my finger? If you notice earlier, we filmed yeah. Time Stories early today. I didn't have this. The moments right before I was coming to the show, even just for a second, I wasn't in the moment while I was cleaning a knife. <laughs> and I wasn't, I didn't use it on my neighbors, but <laughs> yeah. I cut open my fucking finger. And I'm not, I'm not going on fucking, I'm not going to urgent care Don't for, do it. for six hours for one stitch. Don't do I'm it. I'm not going. I glued it shut. Just, just Put the knife in the dishwasher. I it's just Hell, it. use that goddamn toilet. <laughs> use your toilet. Yeah, you got your fancy gimme gimme toilet. Gimme, Go. gimme, gimme. Just that, yeah, it's supposed to be sterile, right? It only put the knife eats in it. shit. It's not sterile. <laughs> Honestly, no, don't you I know you got the one with the UV cleaning. <laughs> did no, you? I did not know, because that's like that model's like nine grand. Oh. It's crazy. Yeah. And yeah. I was just like, and I was like, no, 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 no. I like to clean it. Yeah, that's, oh, right. Right. that's right. Well, I again, congratulations. congratulations. I didn't learn from Lance. Shane Bird, do you think I wanted to do this? No. You think I Content. wanted to do you like I wanted this? Content. Now I'm my fingers throbbing. I'm distracted, but I think this is a perfect place for a Marcus mandate I agree. for my right. mind to be. It is a Marcus mandate, and I got all sorts of fun stuff for y'all. I got stuff that's for both of y'all. In fact, Henry. I've got a will you shut off the stream. Yay! But we're going to save Footage that of Henry one. Henry cutting himself with a knife five minutes ago? <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't even that bad. It was just like bleeding a lot. How were you cleaning it? Just like, just with your hand like that? It was that, like, it, it was, it, we had had a party the other night, and so someone left, there was literally, there was cake on it. And so it was caked on there, and so right, I'm sometimes- I'm you didn't cut your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm vulnerable, I'll take it all. <laughs> but I did the thing where- because you clean it, you got to do... I don't know if anybody does this. You take the sponge, pinch it. Yeah. Did you Did you at all yeah. say, yeah. well, I was going to waste all that fresh, and I can't believe they wasted all that fresh. Yeah, I just... I, it happened. I'm so vulnerable. <laughs> no, I'm so... The, I'm so... I can't. I don't do the pinchy. I do the... Like, you pinch the, do the, pinchy. the sponge, but then you... I am the brave, Mandar. Yeah, you are brave. I am. No, oh. you, you don't do the pinchy and the wash the blade side? You're just supposed to... No. No, you're not supposed... You're supposed to... You're never supposed to... Do that. That's supposed to be facing. How else do you clean a fucking knife that's got stuff caked it's all like over it? It's like when you're. <laughs> I don't want to say it's. It's like you got to take it from behind. <laughs> You know, you gotta take it from behind. Oh, okay, right, who left the well, cake in the knife is a less exciting sequel. Thank you, Sleazy Dan, to Who Shit in the Shower. But ah. it's not true. Who left the cake in the knife? It me. was you? Yeah, of course it was me. Let's oh. start off this man. No one cleans the knife like that, is he? What are you no, you're, no, you're no, crazy. you're cut. That's okay, no, let's go. That's what you do. You have the, the knife's right here. Here's well, you the gotta edge. clean you it both the, sides at the same yeah, time. I don't see you grab it. How else you get the fucking time? The tension to pull the stuff off. You soak it. Yeah. I was Again, got, you I put, got, put it in the dishwasher. We had all day. <laughs> put it in the dishwasher. All right, Marcus. Let's uh, go with Granny and the Beauty Queen. <laughs> Played myself, Granny CC Europe. And the Beauty Queen. Granny my fucking self. Lovers really fall in love to stay. 
stand beside each other. Oh, 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 uh, and what it's from the at fuck? RBC wedding. Yeah. Oh, well, she was so sad when uh, she was surrounded by those beauty queens. Where was the? So she was alive. Yeah, she was. She was alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was definitely alive. She was without a doubt alive. More so, alive than ever before. Oh, those are just. Uh, so the, are those her granddaughters, or I is she just an old woman? Absolutely no information about that video. Also, none whatsoever. I just know it's two beauty queens. They're visiting an old woman. They seem to be twins. Yeah. They do seem to be twins. Honestly, she did look like she would be. If you mind going back for a second, I just want to see a still of their faces because I do think that she's probably related to them. But yeah. I will definitely tell you, she don't know. Lovers really their faces uh, don't. No, really I don't. Change. See them, I don't see the relation per se. Well, they're under a lot. They're on a lot of makeup. They have a lot of makeup. They have a yeah. lot. She of looks makeup. like she got hit in the face with a pipe, which ain't good. <laughs> no, she looks okay. It's just unenthusiastic. It reminds me of when I went to go see let's Willie pause Nelson. It. Let's pause, pause it. Let's pause it. Please let's pause it because I want to. We can't I, enhance, right? I mean, at first I thought that the old lady was wearing a robe. She's not. That's a suit jacket. It's, it's got a, lapels on it. It's actually it's incredible. Fancy. That's a really, really nice. Thank you. Yeah, also, it's wow, really showing quite a bit of leg there. Oh, uh, so do we know that's a lady? Now that's that a I handsome really... woman. Yeah, it's definitely mm. a woman. Oh, yeah, but God. she's wearing something with lapels and some sort of tie around. Kind of like the look. The neck. It seems like there's some satin. She it looks seemed like, like they uh, dressed her up against her will. Who's that one character that Rocky was uh, <laughs> supposed to? Uh, to uh, he was like mimicking <laughs> Rocky. What? He's the boxer. Yeah, uh, that Rocky was mimicking, kind of. Rocky was mimic. Oh, you mean the guy that Rocky was based on? Yeah, Rocky oh. Marciano. Yeah, no, I Rocky. don't think that was. She him. looks just like Rocky Marciano. She, does. she actually does look in- incredibly like. Rocky And a little Marciano. bit of an Easter egg. Look at a little bit like Mo Berg. Hey, that is a bit of an Easter egg. Does oh, look like Mo Berg. We'll be indeed. covering Mo Berg on the next series. It also, very, to continue very, with my. If low- you remove yeah, d- dream cheese, if you remove that necktie, her head falls off. <laughs> I do believe that's possible. <laughs> yeah, why is her one shoe off? Which, yeah, she's wait, got. On. She's only what got one. I on? think that she's not well. She's, no, she's not, not well. well. She's obviously suffering from dementia. She's, yeah, she, the Very better days sure. are behind her. Yeah, she doesn't. They just they dress this woman up, not, not necessarily yeah. against her will, but not necessarily with her consent. No, she doesn't know where the fuck she is. No By the way, in Lone Paw and Lone Pine, Jake Saloon. You know who I meant? This is no joke. Miss Virginia. Miss Virginia. Which yeah. year? This year. Oh, wow. Yeah, what I was like, wait, you're Miss do- Virginia? And she was like, they were doing some bullshit because you go mountains. They got mountains there, so you uh-huh. build mountain shit. Or you, I think, I think For so. those of you that don't know, Kissel went on a day trip to the, the scariest it was motel. Days. It was called the Clown Motel. They it know. It was four days. They all know. I don't think that they do. They, they're not well, they're with you learning. All day. They're learning. The audience doesn't hang out with you in your shed. I told her, I said, I said, wow, I can't believe you're Miss Virginia. And I was like, I'd love to get a picture. She's like, I can go get my sash right now. Wow. She had in the car. Yeah, but uh, we never we never follow through with that picture. But she she's was hot, right? You know, hot. Virginia. This is there where it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. I will say though, it is it is not that scary. The town is scary in that the barbecue joint will give you food. Oh, poisoning. look, the graveyard. Yeah, yeah. But the thing with the graveyard is, I don't think there's real graves there. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it was real show. sweet. And yeah. apparently, if you do book it, so I was right in that room two hundred four, right above the uh, the main office there. The room you want is one hundred eight. That's Evidently, the 108 room. is the haunted room, and I did see a bunch of. Oh, dudes. Jordan and the chat. The chat is from that town. Ah. Tono, Tonopah, Tonopah. Yeah, a beautiful town, and I love Jim Butler. He'll know what I'm talking about. Um, the thing is, I did see a bunch of dudes who like kind of look like an amalgamation of all of us and our friends uh, and yeah. they were filming yeah, yeah. Oh, and i was like yeah. you get it done they have their gopros and shit oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. for yeah. sure because you're hoping because they say that was that that one room is haunted the mm-hmm. one room is haunted 108 that's what they yeah. say and also this fucking store that they got i'm in there hammered picking up a bunch of stuff and bring it to the register nothing's for sale <laughs> Nothing is for sale. He's like, no, Store. everything is donated. It definitely was a museum. <laughs> yeah, yeah it sounds a, like a museum. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that. They should have told me when I was taking a bunch of shit off of the walls. So, uh, I guess they were like you scared. Just, you just dismantled the museum exhibition. <laughs> yeah. I thought they were for <laughs> and then, sale. And then got I had angry. masks picked out for everyone. I like had all, and then he was. I was like, why didn't you tell me? Yeah. Um, Mike in the chat says, so every night a clown comes to your room to fuck you. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> That's they do sell clown notes anyway. So you dismantled the museum exhibition and then got mad at them when no, they wouldn't sell you. Because right. it's five. The whole room is ten feet. 
and they saw me picking out all the masks it, it and is, I brought it. it Tell me. illegal for you to not let me be a customer. <sighs> it was just... Because <laughs> if not, the customer is wrong because I won't be a customer. But until well, I'm a, once I'm a customer, <laughs> then I'm right. I just... I, they could have told me before I brought up... And then I went to put it all back. But then in hindsight, I realized everything was really difficult to take off the wall. <laughs> I don't want to talk about you it. You ripped and done. things, I didn't off, rip the things wall? off I didn't rip things off the wall. I took them off of the wall. Wait, who are the she donated a hundred. This woman donated. So those that's the shit that you ripped? That is so no, obviously no, no. a museum. No, no, no. No, no. It's not so obviously a museum. Look at this shit in the back. All those dolls, they're just sitting there. You can grab them. Grab them. Grab them. It's uh, called a shelf. Yeah, but it's yeah. not like. Th but then I would take. So I took some stuff off the walls. They're also trusting the public to not immediately assume that everything in a room is for sale. My, it's America. He, he's used to Vegas. <laughs> it's America. It's when you, it's America. Well, I remember I went with my daughter to the world's scariest motel. She loves clowns. But the scariest thing we saw <laughs> was a cardigan giant in the museum. And he insisted that everything was merch, including <laughs> my was. daughter. And I said, no. my daughter is not merch. Sir. And he said, how much? How much? Well, and of course I sold hey. If you of would, course, I had to. If you'd see the town, there's a lot of there's a lot of old money. If you know what I mean. I understand. All Speaking right. of old, let's continue on our theme of elder appreciation. These are oh. two very talented <laughs> older men. Let's go for the singing twins. These guys actually are, they're talented, and they've got a style all their own. Okay. Okay. That's right, Scrub. Everyone knows Mama, that. Mamãe, ainda me lembro nossa casa de madeira. Eu no seu colo segurava mamadeira. Oh, Very talented. Contente. They've got hundreds of videos. Yes, it is. Me bleeding now. Why in the corner of my kitchen did these two men come in and say, Gracias, por favor, take me down. Dude, I gotta say, those belt buckles are a thousand out of a thousand right there. They really I are. like and they've got their Holy crap. I don't, I Was can't I supposed to be disturbed by that? Are. I would genuinely like that. I know. I didn't think you would be disturbed. I said they have a unique style and they're very talented. Yes, the Flying Burrito Brothers. I've been listening to them recently and they perhaps they're related. Patrick uh, says this is going to turn into a granny fucker episode. <laughs> oh my. I don't mind. Oh, it. I got a shit. Remember the Prune Brothers? Oh yeah, I gotta take oh, a gotta down. take a dump. Yeah, and then she banged the pot on the floor. And there's all the <laughs> prune juice that was used in the double penetration on that old, yeah. old time, woman. Time really shows you things used to be a lot cooler. They really yeah. did. Yes, yep, they really did. Let's move on to another fun thing. Ben, this one's for you. Thank you. I have been. There has been a straight. Have you, hey, our Instagrams are similar. We They're all very agree, similar. right? Because I think you got me on the scale. Yeah. My Instagram is full of this old sex worker just talking about rimming dudes. You've been talking about this. Yeah, man. I this old woman. She's just you just finally get you. I, you just caught up. I've not got to have the two of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have the two of you? Because uh, I'm still like it's just physical deformities all the time. I've no, sort I've of just got, got them out. Stuff. out. I've kind of got them out. I got Mia Khalifa shoes. Mia Khalifa. I got David Lynch, and then you know what? It recently, I get a lot of David Lynch. What I, you know, what I've been getting fed a lot, Jim, uh, James Hetfield smoking cigars. <laughs> And I don't know why. why. It has been a, a litany. Because uh, I guess he smokes a cigar before he goes on stage every night or something. Uh -huh. James so Hetfield? James Hetfield. So it's people fill, shooting him while he's preparing to go on stage going. I mean, I guess he's still got that And then he goes like, because they play the what's his butts. The dun dun oh, Ecstasy of gold. They yeah. play that before they do every concert. So yeah, he's like oh. always like miming to it. But then. Sucking on a big stogie, and that can't be good for your fucking voice. And they just I just do it over feel and over like, again? Isn't a st I feel like a stogie is a post-performance Sherry thing. Curran yeah. says, I'm a 40-year-old grandma, and I still get fucked. Well, naturally. Well, yeah, I mean, course, that's different. Yeah. Come on, slide it grandma. over here, grandma. <laughs> yeah, my God. All right. Well, this next one, this is for Ben, and I'm interested to see if you've um, discovered this man yet. Okay. If you haven't, you're in for a treat. Let's okay. go for Piano Guy. I tap on the glass before <laughs> it's full, well, no, I haven't. then I have a drink while I keep my head cool. There's three of them. <laughs> Dude, this guy's I'm making a mess, as everyone can see. <laughs> this little funny. paddling pool isn't big enough for me. One more. No. That's cute. 
This is the best water park in town. It's slow going up, but it's quack coming down. <laughs> wow. He is a far more put together, whatever that one guy we used to get a curl of fur. Far more. Fear. Wow, man. Honestly, that's really very sweet. I was, was really nice. waiting for one to be about something bad. No. Yeah. It How's the rest of his channel? Uh, it's all that. It's just really that. he's got hundreds of those. I mean, we don't see the rest of the house. But. Yeah, we don't see the rest. Apparently, he's a, a musician of some sort. Well, a, a pianist, I believe. Yeah. I British. don't think that those are taking British. place. Those are and those are those are found videos that then inspire the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. not his home. No, it's cute though. You, no, that's his house, not the dog. The piano. No, yeah, the that. happy yeah. homes with the animals that are. No, I'm talking about the empty home with the piano in it, with him in it. That's his home. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. He reflects on happier, healthier lives, but then he does it positively through song. Yeah, and I imagine it, he doesn't have a fucking track record. I imagine he doesn't. I, you know, I don't know. He doesn't read to me like he has a track record. No, he does very well. Like yeah. he, I did watch his. Uh, Hello, these is, it's very nice of you to watch my channel. I did See, watch that video, sweet. and he would seem very sweet, and he gave his yeah. resume, and it seemed reasonable. He should yeah. be kind of daffy. Yeah, little he's, daffy. He's a little daffy. He probably like you know, kind of does the Joe Biden sniff and suck a little bit, <laughs> you know, which I'm I never really that. appreciate. I, I'm not really into the smell in the soldiers, soldiers, so the shoulders or like licking hair or anything. But that's he's allowed. I'm not. I don't even think it's that bad. I'm not getting the vibe. I'm not getting the vibe. I think that that man is just a nice, perhaps a former librarian, perhaps someone who's taking care of children, but not in a bad way. The flaw just saying there, he's wondering because he feels like this mandate's been very nice so far, Marcus. Oh, okay, he so like let's. Well, he's making notes, Marcus. I know. I see him. None of you noticed. None of the rest of us yeah. have notes and a little script. Well, he I had my notes is, yesterday yeah. or last week because I announced okay. the president was really dead. nice. Let's go to a Holocaust survivor talking about her experiences in Second Life. God. Well, oh, Second not, Life. Well, that's not. Uh, that's incredible. That's not, Elder appreciation. It was definitely oh, better than the first life. Everyone's going to be old, uh, I guess. Okay. Second Life, Holocaust. Second Life. Well, isn't that. <laughs> that's the video. <laughs> Sounds devastating. No, no way. Play, sir. There's no way okay. that this is going to be bad. No, this is going to be We got it coming fun. up, Eric? But also, again, looking for Second there. Life. Yes, there we New go. chance. Oh, okay. good lord, buddy. This is my second life audience. Your daughter. Uh, what did you see when you got when you got to Auschwitz? Oh my god! What did you, you see? Know, what I saw? Oh. Mengele's selection. We greet. You probably heard it, Doctor Mengele's. Yeah. Why are you doing it like this? Select Matisse Tom. This is he so had it. I can the, uh, visualize it. His cow hand was in his uniform. And his thumb was the selection. Which this one has to go to for. the right and which one has to go to the left? And I cannot recall. I went to the right place not to go to the guest chamber with my younger sister. This is way my too mom and my Oh my god! Brother. Soon we arrived. There was a, a truck over there. They both went right away. <laughs> and the Why did they truck do that? Actually, my man was selected with us, and after oh that, my God. he was my youngest brother. She said, can I go with my got the video baby? Or the and I said, why the not? And she went. This is the saddest fucking story. To see with her youngest child. After Who that, is that? Uh, That's the came to different In second life. Camps. They showed we up saw our catastrophic. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this is not the right platform. Honestly, <laughs> Ricky Lake would be a better platform than this. Don't mind. Please. Oh my god. Jesus fucking Oh, Christ. we went on with your life. We just have to accept it. I remember in some camps we just were strong, and some camps we were not. We were in a camp. I was. <sighs> This is uh, not two, three weeks now. It's the shit. wrong platform for it. It's well intentioned. I don't know. This is. I'm I think this sure. is exactly what Second Life is for. Camp <laughs> I don't know. Was Ravensbrück. Oh, this was to was awful. a guest chamber over there. What do you guys think? You want more? And I was it's just far too shot. serious <laughs> for that. <laughs> That's how you showed up. I had you showed up to this Holocaust. He is seriously week. listening. <laughs> and got very badly infected. And that tried to select me to go to 
the guest chamber. Yeah. All right, everybody's going to be mad. My youngest sister, she, I don't know. This is your I hope, I hope the audience has changed her clothes. She talked to the, gen the doctor, and he let me go. <sighs> and I didn't go. Because he was thinking, I have a, like, that said, a, a disease, Kretze. That's open wound Kretze. All right, let's oh, start right okay. now. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I think now right right any more now. with Once the audience. Open right. wound. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. You know what I like, though, is that truly the Internet is a neutral wonderful place sure there's so oh, many yeah, different kinda. ways because you look at it no one was calling her the f word well i think right no one was throwing stuff at her no one was like going baba booey baba booey <laughs> baba booey right. like on top of it so actually it's kind of nice that she well, actually i don't know if they have the ability the there story, in the audience you know? do the i don't see a microphone in the audience no i don't think the audience is allowed to talk back i think they're allowed to show up and listen as is yeah. you know do you know much about second life yeah i know um, that I, I did a what i do right uh, new year's eve 2020 i played a new year's eve show i did a stand-up set at 1 a.m in second life as cheddar goblin oh. and like as an avatar That's, so i went and i did yeah. it it was extremely empty yeah and it hurt it hurt me spiritually yeah right, because right. it was me performing to an empty room alone in yeah. the height of a quarantine, quarantine pandemic. right and they were yeah. really yeah. just really testing lot. that out to see if it was going to be successful and if people did really enjoy it then it would still be going on today mm -hmm. See, well, yeah, exactly no shoes 39 they say i can't believe we trusted you after the duckling song <laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that was a break. That's a break of trust. Uh, well, somebody called me out. Yep, yep. Spring Hill Jack Coffee. Even our bro Alex is telling us that Second Life is actually is a very civil place. Oh, good. That's nice. Well, it's, it's it is nice by definition, do. I suppose. It's just hard to be alone. You know what I mean? Like, well, that's I think the thing. You... It's hard to be alone when you're yelling at a bunch of stuff. I know that people use Second Life as a way to sort of like be out into the internet. Yeah, of course. And meet people. But, you know. Well, I don't think there's too many people on there. The uh, metaverse is failing. No one's there. Yeah, Second Life was a, somewhat of a failed experiment. It doesn't yeah. have a whole lot of – it didn't quite catch on the way they wanted it to I catch on. I think for some reason it makes people feel inevitably super lonely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah uh, and yeah, also, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the avatars are never, like, what you think they're going to be. No, they're never Never is nice. cool, you yeah. know? Yeah. No, no, but, it's never – nothing is cool. Well, it's not human interaction. They can't touch you yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? It will no, one you day can't legally when the, when touch the, you. When the Chinese create no. that perfect dick sucking machine, mm. that is what again, we've talked about this. Oh, that, that is what's going to take over. We have not really mastered the true dick sucking machine yet. Mm. But you know, there were people getting groped, and then people said, "Don't be groping," and that's why in the in the metaverse you can only be like six feet from another meta person. Yeah. And then also in Second Life, you can steal someone's couch. You go to real life prison. Oh no, I know. And it's then you also. But now they're talking about trying to buy real estate. In the digital world, which idea. is very silly. Cena was trying to get me on that, and I said, absolutely not. You are <laughs> no. joke old <laughs> Don't do it. I will not do it. But, no. they, you know, they, but that's all white. That's all Snow Crash. Yeah. Which all completely, that's all real, too. That's all happening. It's all getting there. Well, let's mm. cleanse the palate a little bit. Ben, I know Oh, you some know people are guy. saying there's a little bit of stuttering or staggering on the stream, but I feel like it's just people's stuff. Yeah. I mm -hmm. think it just might be there. Might be your homes. All right. Ben, I know you know this guy. I know you love this guy. Let's see the train spotting guy. Yeah. Oh, this guy. Yeah. This, everyone loves this guy. He we loves need a his trains. Cleanser. He loves his train. I'm here at one of the cleanser. most stunning train spotting locations I've ever been to. Is this Barmouth the Bridge. Yes where a class 97 and a class 37 will be trundling over it just behind me in in a moment. In fact, I can I can see them. You might you guys might be able to see them. Wow. See, this is this oh, man wow. I, honestly I've seen hundreds of hours. Yeah, these are very special. They're my favorite locomotives. <laughs> There was one where two trains crossed each other for the first time, and he started crying. <laughs> Go on, give it some beans. And no, he was not molested on the train. He actually had great trousers. He said, 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 yeah, that's most of the comments. Right. Most of the comments are, I hate trains, but these guys. <laughs> right, what am I doing? <laughs> I need to be really quick now. Right, camera off, camera in bag. Quick, scooter. Oh. Gets on a scooter. And then, yeah, then he goes to the, uh, this guy is so Nice and careful, easy does it. There's this is interview. really nice. There's this an interview really where nice. he explains his love of trains. And Let's go. He used to go with his mother on oh. trains and had a great Hellfire. time. 
See, this is wholesome. Oh, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Until he starts blowing up the trains. Well, that's different. He, he, he knows he, the schedule of every single train in town. Also, a little bit controversial after our Auschwitz video, Marcus, but that's okay. Because uh, he knows the time. <laughs> it like, exactly. wasn't like he were pulling into I, I, Auschwitz was and he was sweet. like, yeah. No, but honestly, <laughs> honestly yeah, I, I, didn't I would make actually that connection. Love, I did not. I would. That man. Oh, God. It was not on purpose. Transport him. Just out. Be like, oh, I got the horn. You know what I'm talking about. Can you imagine if uh, he gets hit by a train? Well, that's what I'm saying. Something is going <laughs> to happen. A train is going to wrong him. They also, I saw one where he was openly weeping because they were retiring a train. Oh, and then yeah. that was like really sad for him. So I think he has such a thing with trains at it's some wonderful. point. It's going to pivot. It's going to change. And he might end up destroying what he loves the most, which uh, is trains. I pray he doesn't get jaded. Like mm. the rest of us have. Well, technically, because he's there's so much rich. comedy, I can't even walk it. There's so much comedy, I can't even watch it. Just because I'm just so, I have to analyze it. I can't even enjoy it. Just the idea of the trains. You're just gonna go. I hope he doesn't he make him. it his whole life. I hope he doesn't totally monetize it unless it's. It is. It is monetized. Oh yeah, he's got a whole YouTube channel. Hundreds yeah. of thousands of followers. So yeah, he's he doing great. great. He's doing great. Then he's not gonna get. Shut down, right? No, it's literally that. That's basically every video, but then sometimes he gives you more insights as to why he likes trains and why he and what trains he likes. He doesn't hate any trains. Yeah. He just likes certain trains more. Well, that's how you know. I mean, I don't know. Look at Marcus. Marcus truly loves music more than anything else, but yeah. you also hate certain types of music with that love. Very much so. So I bet you he just is not telling us. He's filtering. Double edged oh, sword. That's really tough to say. I think it doesn't helping. seem like I've I, I haven't even picked up under currents of negativity via train no not i think at all. he just likes every train what do we think the subway train... trains you take him to new york city you put him fucking port authority then we'll see how much he likes trains i yeah. think that's the true sign how much of you do you like trains or do you like being outside and seeing cool cool trains yeah or do you yeah. like trains that are just sewer worms filled with blood <laughs> i think it's about the scenic views mm -hmm. and you know he also really goes into what the train is transporting yeah so he'll talk you he, <laughs> he did one about an entire train that was transporting solely dry goods here we go and i have a patient those dry goods that were potentially being shipped craig eisenor says i have a patient that was hit by a train and got a brain injury but he still loves trains still loves trains wow. as a matter of fact he might love him even more yeah now. my mom hit me and i love her more than ever <laughs> does neil young still play with trains yeah i mean why wouldn't he i don't know i think he may have grown out of it i just don't see i don't I feel he, neil young still plays with tr trains i think he got into the train hobby in his 40s i don't yeah. know if you grow he got, up. It was well later now on. he's in his late 70s though so you can go through multiple phases you can just, um sleazy dan what's your uh Ar ask what's marcus's most hated music most hated music. I mean, what immediately comes to mind is uh, 90s pop country. Um, well, although, I would love it. Yeah, was that, cause that Garth Brooks? Does that count? No. No, Garth Brooks. I actually have great respect for Garth Brooks. Okay. Um, yeah. Fucking rodeo. Pop. It's a great. So, like, you don't Faith, like Kenny like, Rogers? Faith Hill. You picked a fine oh, time to leave me, yeah. Lucy. Stuff like this kiss. Uh, so I hungry children and the cops and despise. the field. You know, I, it's mind a, this kiss, I mean, the I stuff that I hate is pretty boilerplate. There's nothing like specifically that, like, it's the, you know, the pop country stuff. Yeah, pop country um, more. Like, like anything auto tune, like auto tune, um, grates on my soul, uh, like uh, a fork uh, across yeah. a baby's stomach and then i would say i fucking hate i know this question is not for me but i hate um when a lyricist really thinks that they're god creed live oh yeah, yeah. well both live of those bands I, I don't even live is better music i think technically yeah I don't love but oh my you. fucking god i just feel like i'm on a date with them live and is they're just music. telling me why they are closer to god it than is me. for the yeah. anger filled younger white gentleman Yes. And that's what it's for. It's for if you have no hair on your whole head except for one silver dollar size mm -hmm. in the back of your head, that then you grow out to a full. Crazy you know what? I actually hair think. Fucking, it's like he has a full ponytail. Even yeah. worse than pop country, pop uh, grunge. Pop grunge like, is pop sad grunge. white Puddle boy, like, no one likes me. Puddle like of mud. That shit. Unfortunately, that stained. was stained. Yes, yeah, stained. That All was, that glitters yeah. in this world is shout to fade. Yeah. Way. You know where it started Damn. with? Started with Seven Mary Three. Yeah, I don't Abercrum like Seven Mary Three. Cumbersome. I like cumbersome though. Yeah, but that's where it began. Abercrum. But then it was it wasn't their fault. Yeah, but Matchbox yes. Twenty is one of the worst bands to ever exist. Wow. I, they just sold out Hollywood Bowl two nights in a row. I despise Matchbox Twenty. Um, do you know this? To just think about you know pop stuff from the nineties. I'm going to fucking despise it. Every song yeah. you were farted on to. Yeah. In <laughs> uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, all that yeah. boy band shit. I fucking, yeah. It, it's, 
Nah. It's boilerplate. It's, there's no surprises here. Yeah, no surprises there. Yeah. I love that I Am Cumbersome song, a great song about pickling. Nah. It's a great song about Cumber- pickling. Or perhaps about wearing a, a large piece of cloth around Cumber your bun. stomach. Or cutting Cumber open your, your right index finger is actually extremely um, difficult. To and, n- and therefore, you now have a cumbersome bandage. There I do. you go. I do mm-hmm. blood seeping in. Let's see what Little oh, Man right. is All Blue is. I don't remember that one. Little Man is All Blue. You write She with she with the Devil because I She with the Deadly Bright. Lightning Crash is an incredible song. It's okay. Yeah, it's uh, fine. It's Whoa, what's fine. going on with Little Man? He's all blue. <laughs> he just does that sometimes and we just do this. Whoa, walk it home now. Yeah, come on. Like this dude's going to fret. Let's go. Don't mind if I do. I like it, right? That's a good song. Take it, little man. I think it's the same guy. Well, why is he even bothering to move his fingers? What do you mean? Oh, I see. It's not stringless. It's just no, it's fret. Yeah, he's got string it's on there. So, so does that mean it's more difficult or easier? Far more difficult. Yeah, because I remember, was it, it, was it Fripp? Robert Robert Fripp. Fripp. Robert, Robert had, Fripp. Robert Fripp. He had the fretless guitar. Yeah. He was the, wasn't he, was it the... King Crimson. King Crimson. What's the point of Also the played uh, the guitar solo on Babies on Fire, which is my favorite guitar solo of all time. What does, uh, what does a fret do? Uh, fret tells you where you need to put your fingers. Like, say if I want to play a, a certain note, again. like, I know I can go to the fifth fret on the A string. Well, then, really, if you're experienced, you shouldn't need the frets. You shouldn't, but most people still do. Most It's extremely do. difficult. Yeah. I feel okay. like that frets are actually, like, that's kind of like, that's where how you use tabs. Yeah. Just, oh, yeah. A lot of guitars are different shapes, right? So certain guitars, who it's Triangle. like... Triangle. The, the, the... What's another shape? <laughs> uh, there's the square guitars. Square. Uh, Bo Diddley, Bo Diddley had a square guitar. I'm leaking. Yeah. Up. Yeah, because that's it. <laughs> Bo Diddley had a square <laughs> guitar. Dimebag Daryl had a triangle. It was more of a V. But you could consider it a triangle. The bo- you're talking about the body. I'm talking about the every the guitar. Body. What's a guitar arm? What is it called? Uh, the, the neck. It's called the, the neck. neck of it. What's the is shape? Is it all going to be the same? Are there any shapes that are different with the neck of a guitar? I'm just saying some are longer than others. They're mm-hmm. thinner. Yeah, that's true. That's they are Such all as men. Mm. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, right. indeed. Yeah. Well, that was very good. Little man is all blue. I love that little blue man. Yeah. Honestly, I kind of wish that we should make that as a band. That should be our band. I like that. Where I'm guy. a little blue man. Very you're talented. You're the black guy. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and you're the other one. You're the Sasquatch behind us. Oh, it's a Sasquatch. Yeah. yeah. Sasquatch. yeah. yeah. You're the Sasquatch. Sasquatch. You're always. And then what? You want to be the, the blue Sasquatch. man? You want to be the little blue man? I am the little blue man. Of course. So yeah. you're the little blue man. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Great. Well, there next up, let's go to Merry Christmas. Whatever that's about. Not sure. Yeah, Merry high Christmas high. from the jungle, baby! <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> That's great. That was really positive. Yo, uh, gonna die! <laughs> Good for her. And, you know, that's what's so nice about being a rock and roll legend. You still get the babes. Yeah. You and know? that woman was a babe, you think? Was she a babe? Uh, I guarantee you she's back row with the Motley Crue fucking startup tour that they're doing again. <sighs> Motley Crue is coming back. Coming you know back. what? Honestly, again, we've said this show on said this on the show before, but I really do believe sometimes you're only as hot as what you're willing to do. Who cares? And sometimes if she's out there and she's a game girl, she's got a good she's got a yeah. good like shape to her. You know what? Yeah, so- she's got weird hair. She's gonna ruin the night at the end of it. But the, the first <laughs> couple hours are kind of nice. I mean, yeah, let's the night will be eight forty five. Begin- let's go back to the beginning of that. Let's let's have yeah. another look. At this lady. Merry Christmas from the jungle, baby. You know, she's not that bad looking. No, that's what I'm saying. Hmm. You know the nice thing about like people like us, comedians, broadcasters, podcasters, authors, some would say. Um, we're not cool. But like Vince Neal and all those guys, they were cool. You Very know? cool. And then point, so yeah. when they walk backstage, when we walk backstage and we see this chick, we're just like, same as it's always been. <laughs> but when Let's they walk it. backstage. Ma, hey mom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when they walk backstage, they it must they're looking at themselves. Yes. Like this is Slash looking at himself. And well, it's gotta be pretty devastating. I think, Although Slash I no, still think it's Slash some... Slash is outside. This is what Ricky Rocket sees. Yes. You know? sure. No, Slash is still crushing. Yeah. Yeah. All, all those yeah. guys are cr- yeah, it's the guy that can barely still sing in Motley Crue. What's his yeah. name? Nikki uh, Six. Vince uh, Neal. Vince Nick, Neal yeah, is not yeah, good Nikki at it. Nikki Six anymore. is a guitarist. No. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I don't know. Know. yeah, he doesn't even know the words. That's to, one of the um, funniest videos. Doctor Feel Good. It was a great video. <laughs> it's incredible. I wonder what the Jimmy Buffett groupie looks like. Hmm. Oh, it looks like I I actually know. It's Natalie's uncle and his wife. Okay. okay. Very like. It's, what, is it a, are they hot? Are standard, they st- tight, 
Sunburned 50 year olds. Love it. Mm. People mock leathery skin, but I love a good gal with leathery skin. Hey, it shows you lived. And you know what? I love a leather couch. I love a leather wallet. I love a pair of leather shoes. I love a leather woman. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because you know what? It's quality. And also, it grows with age and comfort. The thing about leather is it grows to you. It does. So the more you touch her, the more you mold in the boobies to your own shape. There you go. Okay, powerful that. stuff in a leathery man. Truly they'll leathery. tell you, they'll sell you cash for gold, though. A leathery man will sell yeah. you cash for gold? Yes, indeed. Oh, I mean, I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. Come over to my house. All right. Well, uh, very interesting. This next set of videos, I want you all to guess where this woman's from. Okay. It's a quick, it's a five shot. It's a five shot, okay. Five of her <laughs> videos all in a row because I wanted to give you guys a fair chance at where this woman is from. Okay. I know the answer. Let's see nothing like it. Nothing like it. Nothing like a soft Tucker dinner and a cold A&W. Nothing like it. <sighs> so now we're trying to figure out where, where she's from? Where she's nothing from. Nothing like a box of Hostess Twinkies. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like it. Okay. So gross. Number three. Okay. Number three is coming. Nothing like a spaghetti dinner. Oh yeah. Nothing that's not... like it. Mm, okay, we're, I'm giving you a cool nice and and it's Number five. That was nasty. Nothing like me cooking spaghetti again. Nothing like it. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. Nothing like a Starbucks <laughs> and a box of donuts from Chuck Store. On a Thursday, nothing like it. Well, she's got her catchphrase. She's halfway to being on the blue collar comedy tour. Yeah, she's got a good catchphrase. Um, nothing like nothing it. Like it. Nothing I'm gonna go, I'm gonna like go it. South Carolina. South Carolina, okay. That's what I'm gonna go. Nice southern twang, undercurrent, but still sophisticated. Sure. We ain't Alabama. Yeah. I feel that she might be Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. I think she might be. Ben is closer. West Virginia. West Virginia. Okay. 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 Sure. That actually kind of makes me pumps her in a whole different category for me. Well, it's, it's coal country. <laughs> coal miner's daughter. You know, nothing like it. Yeah. It's <laughs> kind of nice there. And, you know, she's the nice thing about that is everyone wants something extra, something mm -hmm. special. Right. All she needs is the basics. A little nothing Starbucks like coffee. It. A 12-pack of Donies. That's a, that woman is happy when you come home. Yeah, she's nothing such, like that. Her, you, as long as you got her stock with her A&W, yep. uh -huh. you got her her extra insulin, she is yeah. ready to be your wife. She doesn't care what you like. She's one of those. She's being like, I got you the bigger shirts from the store, Ben, because I know that it makes you comfortable. Nothing you know, like, like that. that's I mean, like you know, because you know, my family for a while, where it's like no one ever insinuates you could lose weight. Right. They just keep like adding things to your morning routine. They say stuff like, "Oh, well, you know, Benjamin." I mean, I don't mean you say you always. Sure, you know, sure. But you know, when it comes with the, you know, like, like oh, he's got a little bit today. He's got to wrap his ankles in his feet because otherwise he can't fit him <laughs> in his shoes. And you yeah. just throw like we all have that's to probably. act like it's normal. It's like, fine. We have yeah, to yeah. get Uncle yeah. Kevin his reaching stick, and we're yeah. all like, "Well, that's because right. that's his reaching stick, and yeah. you got to get it." And then. You're just like, it. yeah, sometimes heals, sometimes wounds on the on, on the feet or the leg don't heal. No. Yeah. And yeah, that's yeah. good. That's not pre-diabetic. No, no, no. That's no, good. No, no, no. no, it's a good thing. So you call it a reach and stick instead of a grabber. I always I, call them grabbers. Well, the reach and stick just got, no, it's blunt. Oh, so you're just hitting things until they fall down. That's Mostly. more of a cat. And that's you're like using it to sort it. of tell people where things are. No, it's a and you're using it more to sort of like, and then quickly harass uh, anybody uh, okay well a good reach and stick yeah, yeah. i think a grab and stick grab and stick may be more of appropriate you're really talking about a point and stick yeah that's a point stick. Yeah, it's a point yeah. Stick. Yeah. it's yeah. a hand extender yeah 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 yeah, yeah, well, yeah. but because i just kept adding creams when i was really really big it was all just about adding more because i used to chafe like the devil himself <laughs> <laughs> i used to chafe and used to get fuchsia pink between my legs like right oh, my balls man. and stuff yeah, so i used to just that. fucking coat myself with various creams well, that's creams. the uh, oh man i just watched an episode of 600 pound oh right? yeah my 600 pound life by mm -hmm. the way that doctor is officially just doesn't give a fuck no he really no no he's it's start... almost like he's just there for the money i know yeah. his name isn't dr zismore but he looks like dr zismore. zismore the zit doctor from yeah. new york yeah but um it's but, dr man, zazzy they showed the fucking skin fold things on this one dude. Mm -hmm. It was, oh my God, it was unbelievable. No, and they need to be Whew. looked at, son. Because <sighs> my worst, where are my worst parts, right? 
Like well, this, this is, is, I mean, obviously, this is, this is obviously, nothing. Obviously, We're talking six. This is the that worst is like part of one. It. That is one one thousandth of what this person had. I yes, mean, it was. We're talking. A, it, oh, it's on the it's, lights. It was hard, and also it was like hard. Yeah. And then oh, it was. Anyway, it is the greatest food. It is the greatest show to watch when you don't want to eat food. Yeah, I get that. You know what? My show like that. I'm a big hoarders guy. I'm a huge hoarders guy, and that is one that also uh, tends to dampen the appetite. You Although know, I have eaten quite a bit while watching. I've I've watched hoarders while eating dinner. I, I actually. I'm completely numb. I can eat hoarders no matter. I can eat food no matter what. Yeah. But so except you, for that is pretty much. I, I don't know why. I yeah, have no problems. With you it. checked out yeah. the new pig slot based restaurant hoarders, huh? Except mm. I did have to. Um, did did have to shut up because I've been recently watching Old Stern, where they had it was a 2003 run where it was Jeff the drunk had to be handcuffed <laughs> to a lucky contestant that was going to win twenty thousand dollars, but she had to be handcuffed to him for five days, a nonstop. And there's a point where he had shit for six days, and he was just like, "I got a family shit." And then he shat, and then when he was shitting, she started throwing up. And because that she couldn't go to the bathroom right. without being chained to him, she had to piss in a margarine like canister. So she had, she was pissing in the margarine canister, and then like had to go and like watch it. He's like, she's dry even, and then she had to throw up in a, right. in a thing of her own piss. I just wish that Howard Stern remember that's also. So him, that, I wish yes. Howard. I wish Howie would remember. Yeah, old Howie, so he's not so pretentious about his roots. He he needs, he's getting really boomery. He needs to go back to his roots. He, he is really getting quite boomery. There's some he of it, man. I feel like some of it could really come back because it really was. It's compelling. Because now I don't the think part he has to where, do it again. He just shouldn't pretend like, like he never did it. The two people that are there, it's like his. It's Jenny, this woman, and her husband, and they're both like. Jeff, you need to think about your drinking. And he's just like, I never thought about <laughs> drinking. You do want to think about it. Yeah. It was very interesting. Okay. Well, there we go. Yeah. Well, let's uh, move back into the realm of music hmm. uh, with just a fun message for the United States. Wow. On Memorial Day Eve. And God bless. for the world. And it's not Eve Memorial Day. was it's was yesterday. post. Memorial Day post. The day after Memorial the Day. The day I don't after know. Memorial the, Day. I've completely forgot. At the day after Memorial Day, I've forgotten about every soldier. Wow, brave stance. Because Except for the I ones learned, that listen, because we actually have quite a few listeners. I know, I absolutely love, I love the soldiers. Yes, indeed. But is it Memorial Day for the dead ones? Yeah, it's Memorial Day. Yeah, so no, Veterans no, Day no, is for the alive ones. Yes. Yeah, but also it's nice to know. It's But it's also for the ones that are alive. That Then when they know when they die, people will remember them. Yeah. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, Unnamed Soldier. I say name them. What about comedians? Because he's unknown. Yeah. You can name Why don't you just fucking about, name him? We no, need to have a dead comedian Travis. day. Can there not be a dead comedian day? I mean, have you seen Twitter? It's every day. Name the soldier Travis. It's Travis the soldier. Travis Thank you the for soldier. what you did. And for the ladies, uh, Tonita. Yeah. But, Love you, Tonita. But he's Tanita still, and Travis. even if you name him, he's still unknown. Not anymore. You don't know him. You just because you know someone's movie, name. It, when Pennywise was like, Georgie. Oh, we're not strangers. I'm Pennywise. You're Georgie. Now we know each other. That's a line a clown used to kill a child. It is. Yeah. <laughs> that was awful. Man, that fuck it. I watched that. Because the only thing at Clown Hotel, Channel 36 and 37, it was It and The Shining on repeat. That's um, awesome. Which right. was the scariest so thing of all. But That's I amazing. So I love those movies. Yeah, they're yeah. the best. They're the best. All right, well, let's see uh, a, uh, a, a, a little message to America, and then we'll get into a guy dying. Okay. okay. Thank God. Okay. Oh, yeah! About the words, it's about the vibe. Well, for singer songwriters, it's a lot about the words. Only for the weak ones. <laughs> well, singer, I mean, singer songwriter. You want to singer songwriter? Yeah, you do want to be a songwriter in addition to being. Well, a that's singer. definitely one of those musicians where you look at your buddy and kind of laugh a little bit, and then you you pretend like that's fine because otherwise you want to get out alive. Yeah, you so you're get like out this because he yeah. owns the bar. Or knows Actually, kind of reminds me. Remember that band we saw at the Slippery Noodle in Indianapolis? The guy with the <laughs> the guy he so it was an old guy, and there was a he had a weird couple of bands, but in order to make himself look more impressive, he set up a fan directly in front of the stage that would blow his hair back. <laughs> Is that the same bar where a guy approached you in the bathroom and asked you to help him out? Hey, help me out! Yeah. Hey, help me out. Marcus, I what still, happens still, when we It's can't... still the scariest moment I had because I was at the <laughs> urinal and I kept turning away from him. I kept having him be like, no, please, no, sir, no. <laughs> and he was just going like, his uh, jean shorts were open. He kept going, can you help me out? Can you help me out? And it's just yeah. like, I hate that tone. I can never get out of my head. Like, well, I'm that's why desperate. He... And he was there with his fucking like, 
family. Oh no, yeah. he wanted to get he wanted a quickie in the bathroom and yeah, went. and it's just like can you? Oh, I oh, know that's definitely the, that is the so. code for like. Hey, help me out. You remember that, that scene in Boogie Nights where they mm-hmm. pick, Dark Diggler gets picked up when he's at the at way way Come bottom you. and he's like, hey, do you think you, like I'm just kind of looking for some help? You looking know? for some help? Is that when he gets beat help? up? Yeah, it's when he gets beat oh, up. Oh yeah, that was. You brutal. think you could help me out? You could help me out. Yeah, mm-hmm. where he's like. Just say, I'd rather you, it's dirtier, it's like, that's dirtier than you saying like, hey, please suck my dick. Yeah, I would so I would rather you be like, hey, would you give me a blowjob? It's job? not and about like, that. You know what? Um, no, yeah, Henry, right, no. I totally I have... disagree because it's not about sex, it's about medical need. And it's also... <laughs> He medically needs to get fucked <laughs> by a dude. He needs to get he, helped I out. Yeah. No, I know. I feel but, horrible for him. Yeah, I, I, I ate help. the CVS for dick. He does need help because you know I, mean? I will say this. Having a man ask you to suck his dick point blank is a, it's very aggressive. Ah. It makes you feel quite. Yeah. We went over it like two weeks ago when I talked yep. about the man who approached me in front of the Ralph Cramden statue. Yes. When a yep. man asks you point blank to suck his dick. I suck your it, dick. But he also, he had a scar on his face. He and he said a bunch scar. of other It was stuff. ugly. It was, was, it ugly. was 6 a.m. Yeah. And it's just, it's horrible constantly trying to ask a statue if you can suck its dick, trying mm-hmm. to get its pants it's down. It's just like, but again, but casually. He's like, hey, listen, this might be outside yeah. of your parameters, but I'm just throwing it out there because you look like a fun cool guy what if we sucked each other's dicks yeah and you say kind of right. nice and then you go like no hard feelings i'll go ask the next guy and then you just like move on right? yeah i would i'm like sure that. he got helped out that night i'm it sure was that that yeah that the guy at the slippery noodle i'm no, sure he was all uh, unwashed yeah he had, like he was all sweaty and old and i didn't wait who goes like yeah like when you come with the hey you know yeah. what's that be like yeah it's funny you ask I was also looking for a little bit of help. Well, apparently you haven't read much Dear Abby. Love is a numbers game. <laughs> All, and you know how many people go into a bathroom on average at, at the Slippery Noodle per hour? Probably got 15 different. 15 oh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of turnovers. Easy. Yeah. And it sounds like a man who has experience with some, getting someone to help him out. Maybe. But it doesn't seem like the first time he's asked someone to help him out. Maybe you looked like a person he was corresponding with on the internet, and he's like, yes. Dave is here. I didn't think I'd see you here. I thought it would just be a dream I had. It would yep. be a wonderful meetup, but please, Mr. Grzyski, he help me out. He's <laughs> like, no, sir. He's like, where do I know you from? Were you on crashing? Mm. Stu. That's a built-in fan base. Yeah. That's well, a built-in fan base. For this next one, I'm going to do my own little version. Will you shut off the stream? Okay. If yes. you don't mind. Henry. I love it that the Auschwitz one wasn't that. Nope. It wasn't. You love that. Let's check this one out. You're going to love yeah. that. Because I actually thought that everyone would be genuinely into the Auschwitz stream. I didn't, well, I it was didn't, fascinating. I didn't realize how upset it was going to make everyone. It was just the platform and the story is very sad. I loved it, honestly. Well, this ain't going to make me shut off the stream. Yeah, I'm so far, I'm completely engaged. I think this is the guy from the Slippery Noodle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, is that him? Is that D'Artagnan? Come on, buddy. He's got to do a little bit more, though. Okay. Let's he doesn't them. need any help. Get them arms up. Island vibes. Not really in theme. It's like a guy who wants to kill his political enemies during the purge. Okay. 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 All right. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want a piece of clothing like gone. First the hack. Uh, okay, I'm starting to see you. I guess he's not really understanding the point of a green screen. No, he's really not. Okay. What is the uh I'm glad we're starting there. slow. I'm glad we started with the hat. Yeah, you start of course you, well, I don't know, that there are two schools of thought. I would argue that you should maybe I think you, ha- you keep the hat on the keep whole Keep the time. hat on for a while. To yeah. be honest, yeah, if you if you had got the dick out first, at least I'd grow numb to it. Well I think the goal would be <laughs> you keep the boots, keep the hat, yeah. but everything else has to come off and then how yes. do you do that? Sleazy Dad says this is the rest of that. <laughs> That's the second life video <laughs> you're about to go to. Yeah. Excuse me, don't interrupt your story. Oh, no difference in what he ran out of he royalty out free of music. He had to move to the Is he doing this at like a public mall or? No, no, no you can see this at home. He's got the curtain. He has hundreds of these. Hundreds upon hundreds. Oh, okay. Now this okay. is a. Oh, well, now it's really starting to go. Yeah, by he does have a. He has a package, I will give him that. He does. Yeah. And you think that does look like a real package. That doesn't look like a stuffer. I know I'm starting to think this is kind of Russian. I think he's got a kind of a Russian vibe. He's got the cummerbund. Yeah. 
back! It's not really imploring me to shut up the stream, so... No, I'm so far, I'm so compelled. It's the way his facial expression never changes. It's also changes. His obviously massive dick and balls that <laughs> I am so scared of. I and I'm really... I am <laughs> praying we don't see them. Like, I don't... No, I don't... I, I, I don't... I... I so just well, look at is... how... I, he looks like he is holding a kielbasa... Oh, wow, sharp at it. Sharp yeah. at it, buddy. I it's pretty know. sharp at it. Yeah, yeah. He, he's yeah. not really the master of the smooth, <sighs> like, one shot. No, because no, he's, he's not a one he's shot. He's absolutely man. extremely horny, yeah. Well, yeah, I think he's got a semi for sure. I mean, you better. If, you, if I'm doing this, I'm working up what I got. I, I actually think, think Cena's stomach is more disgusting than Cena's cock and balls for some reason. I think he's got a pretty, I think he's got a good gonzo nose. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, okay. This is a longer song, that's for certain. Yeah. Yeah. Does he have an undershirt? Oh, come on. What's the undershirt? Oh, my God. Please, for the love wow. of Christ. I really don't want to see that fucking mace that oh he has. I hate how fucking... I feel like I'm... It's an it follows. Oh, my God. And the creature is just getting closer and closer to me. Wow. Look at that. Constitutional carry and Help me out. Look at Help that. me out. Oh, he's, like in, he's honestly, he's in shape. Oh, yo, yeah, well, he's... Uh, oh, no, he's got every reason to... Uh, <laughs> I am so... Oh, here comes he, the boots. What's incredible is that when I watched this the first time, I didn't notice how fucking massive... How <laughs> huge is fucking cockless? Oh, yeah, that's, that's definitely... That's uh, oh, God, really spelling it out. <laughs> oh, man, really letting it slowly <laughs> come off. Each moment more so uh, no yeah. socks. <laughs> and uh, he's got one Lindsay move. Necropolis says I bet he eats great pussy. <laughs> I don't think Why did he, he put does, a vest on? To be honest. No, he did that's change. been on the whole time. That's yeah. the under that was the undershirt. No, I don't think this guy is <laughs> looking for pussy to be honest. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I I think this man might be a vice. Yes, I, he think, I think he takes whatever comes across his path. Oh, I don't well, think he's a, he's a picky guy. man. Yeah, 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 I think this man is... Please, for the love of God, sir, yeah. just remove the vest. I'd rather you remove it than it... Oh, well, here we go. go. You know, good. I mean, hey, well, yeah, he should be proud of himself. Oh, uh, yeah, God. He obviously works out. It's the yeah, Nate D, the smirk. <laughs> it feels like, you know, have you seen this man in dreams? Have you seen that shirt? <laughs> yeah, it's very Twin Peaky. It's a nightmare. Oh, very red man, lodge, oh, man. Very Just red fucking lodge. do it, dude. <laughs> Just fucking do it. Just take your fucking pants off, man. By, by the way, the uh, title of this video is Ooh La La. Oh, God. Uh, it's Gryffindor theme. He's a gladiator. Holy shit, he's super buff. Yeah, he's doing good. Oh, it continues. Well, there's only it's other... It's a good five and a half minutes. There's <laughs> very little, few uh, options. Okay, and there well, we go. Where's the fucking dick? Wow. We can't get why We didn't see wow. the fucking dick. Oh, interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> uh, it's not about that. It was about the journey, not the destination. You know, it really is about say. the journey because he does clean strip tease. Oh. You know, I, and I will say, because I feel like for most part, let me I'll speak. I'll speak for all women. Dicks good. are stupid. Mm. <laughs> Right. Well, they're, they're, I don't know if they're stupid. They're but supposed to be like, functional. You're not that into seeing them, right? Jack? They are stupid. Some, some you know, are, like, some are You don't see me like, oh, I got to see that hog. Uh, no, right? some what women you do. You grew up with Jackie. Yeah, they do. That's all yeah. they talk about. Yeah. No, I've but she your, likes I've arms heard, and butts. I've heard your sister ask for the hog more times than I care to know. It's because she's, she's empty. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't understand. She doesn't understand how deep men can be. No, uh, I, I think I that see. that is something, again, that has been... A lie that you have heard by many women, no, I've which heard is the most, women most don't care. They, well, they, all that matters is that. What's have you top ever of heard it? when? Have you ever you know talked to one of your girlfriends? You know, a gal that's a friend. Mm -hmm. When they go home with someone and they are surprised by the size of their penis, and yeah. you know we can laugh along with it because we're not micro guys, but uh, it's devastating what they say. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, but I just really, I don't yeah, even remember. Really, really like I really liked him. It was super nice. Everything was great. Super buff, small dick, and then just from there, it's just so well, I don't yeah. even think of those things because I know my <laughs> penis is enough. Yeah, and that's I've enough. definitely heard women use the words beautiful cock. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's because the guy, because they don't remember anything else about him. Oh, God forbid. 
Honestly, I hope I hope they don't. That's the size of a that's the son of a great yeah. first. They don't understand that actually a prudent sense of business is extremely attractive. <laughs> All right, for this, we're here. We're at our last. Video, Are we at our last? Already? And I gotta oh say, my. if you're not a Patreon subscriber, you're not gonna get to see the end of the stream. Wow. No. You're no. not gonna get to see this absolute oh, masterpiece. Oh, we lost a hundred Patreon subscribers. No way. <laughs> oh, yeah. we're, you're gonna miss this absolute masterpiece that is titled <laughs> "Owner of a Lonely Fart." <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day now. Goodbye.